This has been an incredible year. I mean, it's just been an incredible year. And, uh, you know, when y'all started back, what, in the fall of last year, who would have who would have thought that the year would have turned out the way it has? And uh, you started you started the school year, and then all of a sudden, you know, here comes this virus, and people are told, you know, to go home, and you don't come back to your school, and you're having to finish out the year, you know, at home, away from one another, separate and apart, and all of that, the mask, the social distancing, and then the economy just, you know, just the, the, it just drops. And so a lot of people, probably maybe your parents, your friends, relatives, you know, they're at home, they've been laid off, don't have their jobs, the money is funny, so you have to deal with all of that. And then on top of that, uh, here comes the death of George Floyd, which has touched a nerve, quite frankly, all over the globe. And so you're having to press through all of that. And so when I talked to uh, Superintendent Granita Latham, along with the other superintendents of, of Aldine, Spring, Spring Branch, and A-Leaf, you know, what we wanted to do in a Houston way was to find a way to salute an exceptional class because you all are indeed an exceptional class, an exceptional class. You, you've not given up. You've stayed the course. You're, you're graduating, you're moving forward. No other class or group of students in the history of our country have had to endure the things that you all have had to go through. You are a very special group. And look, give yourselves a hand just for, for what you've been able to accomplish. And so we wanted to find a way just to kind of make it a little, a little different, you know, make it a little different to let you know you, we know your school appreciates you. We know that the district appreciates you. We know your parents and others over there appreciate you. But we wanted to do something just in a special way uh, and to just say that the city of Houston appreciates each and every one of you. This is your year. And I'm not going to tell you your leaders for down the road tomorrow. Quite frankly, you're leading right now. And so what you all have had to endure, this is a very special week. Just this week on Tuesday, as the superintendent said, 60,000 folk came downtown, marched from Discovery Green to City Hall. 60,000 folk from all walks of life in the city of Houston. And now tonight, you know, we are traveling all across the city basically to salute high school seniors and folk like you who have graduated. It doesn't matter that I'm from the faux folk. The reality is tonight I'm out here in Fifth Ward, the nickel. You know, we'll travel over to Third Ward, the tray. You know, we'll go to Sunnyside in South Park, Denver Harbor, East End, you know, Fort Bend, all over. The reality is y'all are special. And so for, as the mayor of the city of Houston, as the mayor of the city of Houston, I want you to know that I'm very, very, very proud. Lastly, for those of you who come from backgrounds similar to my own. And what I mean by that, when I graduated, my daddy was not with me. My daddy had died. My mom was a maid at the old Rice Hotel downtown. My mom reared nine kids. My mom never graduated from high school. She never graduated. My mom never learned how to drive. Quite frankly, even if she learned how to drive, we didn't have a car for her to drive. Okay, we got around on the bus. But my mom always said to, to me when I was growing up, Sylvester, just stay the course and you'll get it done and you can make it. And many of you that are out here, your backgrounds are very similar to mine. And I want you to know, for those of you who stayed in the game and didn't give up, even when a lot of things came your way, I could not be more proud of each and every one of you. And so tonight, it's all about you. And we wanted to focus on you. And I know we got these challenge coins. And this is just a special way of saying, uh, remember, remember this year. Remember this year. And remember, regardless of what came your way, you did not stop. And you did not give up. And so for that, on behalf of the entire H-Town, let me just give a special thanks and congratulations to you. And I want you to know we love you. We appreciate you.